Glucosamine is a popular dietary supplement, uh, usually marketed for arthritis, but is it possible it may have other effects in the body, such as helping the skin look better? So that's going to be the topic of this video. Hey guys, it's Joe Cannon from SupplementClarity.com and Joe-Canada.com. And today's video is going to be just about that. The research on glucosamine, perhaps uh, noting that it can help wrinkles and age spots and maybe help the skin appear uh, more youthful. There is research in this. And uh, as always, I want to focus on the human studies. So give you that'll give you a better idea if this is right for you. Let's jump right into it and see what we can get. So what the heck is glucosamine? Well, it is a type of sugar. Uh, usually uh, we extract this stuff from the exoskeletons of lobsters and crayfish and stuff like that. You know it best as an arthritis supplement. Yeah, there's some various studies over the years noting that perhaps glucosamine may help arthritis, but that's not gonna be the topic for today. We're gonna talk about the skin effects of glucosamine. And before we go any further, I want you to realize that there's three different types of glucosamine out there. Uh, and I'm telling you this in case you do in your own research. There is glucosamine sulfate, glucosamine HCL, and the last one is NAG, and acetyl glucosamine. Now, all of these have essentially very similar chemical structures. Um, I'm highlighting the number three in the list, NAG, because that is the version of glucosamine that seems to get the most attention when it uh, involves skin health, okay? And, and again, that's something that you should be maybe perhaps looking for in various products. I've never got a good reason why companies are choosing NAG over, say, glucosamine sulfate or HCL, um, but that's what the research is showing. Okay. Now, how might glucosamine help the skin? Well, it's thought that there may be a variety of different ways, such as we know that glucosamine helps us make hyaluronic acid. Hyaluronic acid acts kind of like a glue between cells. It holds them together, and in doing so, it improves the moisture content, the hydration, if you will, of the skin, and that can plump up wrinkles and improve the texture of the skin. That makes sense. Glucosamine can also improve, uh, it seems to help wound healing. It may inhibit an enzyme involved in melanin production, and that's why many people uh, may promote it for uh, age spot reduction. And, and then there may be an anti-inflammation component to glucosamine as well. Okay, all this sounds good. Um, what's the research say? Again, what's the human research say? Well, we've got this investigation, which is kind of interesting. Um, we've got uh, eff efficacy of glucosamine sulfate and skin aging results of an ex vivo anti-aging model and clinical trial. So we've got eight women over the age of 50, they're Caucasian women, and they're given glucosamine sulfate, 250 milligrams a day for two months. These researchers noted uh, that when they took biopsies of the skin, they saw improved Movement in the production of various types of collagen, and there were there appeared to be some genetic changes that favored the production again of collagen and other compounds like hyaluronic acid, which can help support skin health. Now, this study did not look at wrinkles; it didn't show that you know people got less wrinkles or wrinkles went away or anything like that. Rather, this study basically said the writing on the wall seems to say that taking glucosamine, uh, maybe in this dosage, uh, seems to help help support healthy skin. Okay, that's interesting. What else we got? So here's another investigation. Um, this study, again, involved women. There was 22 women. They were given either a placebo or they're given 1,000 milligrams of N-acetyl glucosamine for two months. The women ranged in age from about 25 to about 35 years of age. The, and these researchers noted that after two months of taking this product, this N-acetyl glucosamine uh, supplement, that the moisture in the area below the left eye had increased significantly. That that's their words. Why the left eye only? I have no idea. I can, you know, no idea about that. And then other research, uh, others, other um, studies they did on the on the skin seem to show that the N-acetyl glucosamine uh, improved the roughness of these women's skin. So the skin appeared less rough. Now. All this is interesting. Uh, one thing I did notice with this investigation, because I, when I when I looked at it, was that I didn't see any before and after pictures. And normally, when you're talking skin uh, and improvements, you know, I, it's my observation that people will, you know, 
post before and after pictures, and I didn't see any here, which makes me think that you know while the effects may have been significant, they may not have been significant to the naked eye looking at it. Uh, again, that's just my own observation. Take that for what it is. Now, I've got some other pictures I am going to show you in some other studies, so let's move on from here. So I mentioned a little while ago, glucosamine seems to play a role in inhibiting an enzyme involved in the production of melanin. Too much melanin is responsible for age spots. So we've got this interesting study. It's a 10-week investigation involving a topical cream uh, that is basically a 2% N-acetylglucosamine uh, cream plus a 4% niacinamide uh, component as well. Niacinamide is niacin. Niacin is quite popular in anti-aging creams. It has an anti-inflammatory effect. And on, on another note, niacin is actually quite popular in the world of anti-aging because it appears to increase the production of NAD, uh, and I'll post links to my other videos uh, on how to raise NAD levels naturally. Niacin is quite popular. Uh, there are some supplements that uh, can raise NAD levels, but uh, I, again, I'll, I'll link to that in the video so you can see more about that if you're curious. Um, essentially here, they find that when the women took the uh, combination of NAC, NAG, and, and N-acetylglucosamine, um, that there was less age spots uh, on the face and and the skin appeared better. Okay, what's this looking like? So here's some before and after pictures that were in the uh, study. We've got the before, well, on the left we've got before, on the right we've got the after. And as you can see on the top of the screen here, um, this is what it was before the cream use, and here it is after. I see a difference. Um, I mean, it, it looks different to me. Um, this said, you know, so I, I think that's, I, for me, that's significant. Um, I don't see a difference with this spot here, but I don't see anything up here anymore. I don't see anything here anymore. If I look down at the other other individual depicted in this picture, um, I see some age uh, spots here. I see a little less here, but I also do see less redness in the skin. I, maybe that's just my eyes playing tricks. I mean, you tell me what you see. Um, I would say the top picture is a little bit more dramatic than the bottom picture. So again, I'll leave that to your 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 good judgment of whether this is a significant effect for you. Okay. Now, in terms of skin firming research, I left out what I think might be the best for last. This is interesting. Um, this is an investigation of a cream. It involved 16 weeks, again, uh, of, of people, again, women were taking, these were Caucasian women, by the way, 42 women were given this cream. It was actually called Neostrata. Uh, I'll link to that in the description so you can check it out. It contained N-acetylglucosamine and other uh, ingredients as well. And they took before and after pictures and they noted that the this neostata cream appeared to incru, improve the texture of the neck and uh, reduce wrinkles and fine lines and and as in their uh, in their words provided a more youthful firm appearance to the skin um, what's the pictures look like well you judge for yourself so here's one picture of one individual's neck looks significantly different to me. You got before over here on the left, you got the after over here on the right. Um, I do see a big difference over here compared to over here. I see less redness down here, okay, compared to after 12 weeks of use. Okay, um, so that's one uh, picture. Here's another one. Again, much less redness around the top of the clavicle area here uh, before versus after. This whole area looks much, much less red and, uh, and, and, and pitted, if you will, from age spots. Um, again, this big line right here in the neck uh, looks much less noticeable over here. Again, I've got some lines over here on the right. I don't see them as much over here at all. So this looks pretty dramatic to me. And I got one more to show you. Here we go. Uh, again, less redness, less uh, pitted marks, if you will, from age spots. Here's before week zero, after I say week eight, 16, I see much less. This line over here on the left, much less noticeable. Okay, um, same thing over here. I see a line over here, much less noticeable here. Uh, again, this whole area looks much better to me. Very interesting. This whole, whatever this thing is, I don't know what it is, but it's gone. This might actually just be a pimple. So uh, maybe don't take that too uh, too significantly. I think that might be a pimple to me, but I could be wrong. Um, this is an interesting uh, investigation. Again, involved a product called Neostrata. 
Um, one thing I did notice about this uh, study when I looked at it, it was listed as a poster presentation. Um, it does appear in a journal, but again, I wonder if it went through the peer-reviewed process. Again, I couldn't tell from the study when I read it. It's just something maybe to keep in the back of your mind. So a couple thoughts I have after looking over the various studies. Now, the first thing I'd point out to you is that most of the studies involve small numbers of women. They're usually Caucasian women. Uh, and, and, they're, and, and, and overall, there's not a lot of studies to date. There's probably more going to be in the pipeline. Most of the investigations appear to be done by Procter & Gamble. I also saw L'Oreal in a couple of the studies as well. Makes sense. They've got anti-aging products and skin firming products. So it makes sense they would support some of this research and conduct it themselves. And then my, my other point of takeaway might would be that do significant differences, differences mean real meaningful differences? As you can see in some of the studies I mentioned, you know, I didn't see before and after pictures in some of the studies, which makes me think that maybe the naked eye might be able, might not be able to tell the difference. And in some of the other studies, I did see a difference. So I, I leave that to everybody's own uh, discretion to decide for themselves whether significant differences clinically mean real meaningful differences to you. Okay, so does glucosamine work? Does it help the skin? Well, I'm intrigued by some of the research I've seen. I'm pretty intrigued by that Neo Strata study. Um, I'd like to see a few more studies. And uh, again, uh, I think do result think results are going to vary from person to person, varying about on say how bad skin damage is. But on on the plus side, you know, glucosamine is not too expensive, and some of the products I saw weren't too expensive either. So, you tell me if you've tried any of these products, let me know what happens. Um, I'll be interested to hear your take on things. Again, I'll put links to some of my other relevant videos in the description so you could check out some other products which may help the skin as well. Until next time, guys, I am Joe Cannon. Go out, make a difference, and have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.